Alright guys, so I'm exhausted. Um, I'm taking a trip from Malaysia, capital of Malaysia, uh, Kuala Lumpur, to Brunei. And uh, my friend over there wanted some alcohol, and you're not allowed to buy alcohol because they're a very religious country. <laughs> they have strict uh, Sharia law there. So I had to go buy some alcohol for him. I'm hoping that I don't get in trouble. I don't really know what's going to happen with this, but um, we'll, we'll see. So my friend who lives here, um, he's not able to purchase alcohol here. It's illegal to purchase alcohol in Brunei. So I had to bring over some spirits for him, um, just as a like a nice little present. And uh, I took them through customs and they checked all my bags. They were so nice, you guys. I, I was not expecting that, but the customs is so polite and nice here and they didn't hassle me at all. It didn't even matter. But I had it, I just showed it to them and filled out a little form and nothing happened. All right, let's go try to get some coffee because I'm exhausted. All right guys, I just landed in Brunei and it is Ramadan season so all of the restaurants are closed right now. Maybe a few upstairs might be open, the coffee bee might be open. Um, it's Oh yeah, I wanted to do that. The Royal uh, Regalia Museum. Yeah, I yes, I'm gonna do that tomorrow. I'm so excited for that. Okay. Yeah. It is, it is mainly to do with one chapter. Okay. The, the, man, the main man himself, the Sultan. Mm-hmm. And you're not allowed to insult the Sultan. That's against the law. That's true. Yeah. Okay. We don't talk bad about him. Yeah. <laughs> Healthiest food. All right, you guys, we are at the night market. Do you know the official name of the night market here? What's uh, it called? Qasim Alam. Qasim Alam. means night market. Yeah, it means <laughs> night market. And it is so cool. I'm so excited to go try some of this food, you guys. This is going to be so much fun. Wow. Sometimes this is my favorite. The beef rendang. Wow. This is really cool. Are, are those just normal eggs? They seem to be sold eggs? a lot of food. Gonna, yeah. uh, they might be salted egg. Oh, salted egg. Yeah. Oh, wow. Are you, are you packing up? I, yeah, but if you want to order, I... Uh, I'm so sure. All right, guys, I got a salted egg. Some meat going, yeah, yeah, please. Thank you so much. Um, and then some chicken. I'm so excited. Ooh, these look so good. It looks like they have a lot. So I'm gonna get one of these and share it. It's, okay. uh, what is it's this? like a pancake. Uh, I would pancake? say it's a cross between a pancake and a waffle. It's called uh, Kwai Malayo. Uh, and one here. We've got Do they have cheese inside of them? Did you get one with cheese? No, I didn't. Yeah, I've got original. Okay. But it's just very easy. You already made them. What are, what are these? They're, I think they're fritters of some sort. I'm gonna get one of them. Get two of those for us. This looks so cool. I don't know, it could be banana, it could be, it could be the dough. It has something green in there. Yeah, there might be the lime leaf one, might be savory. That looks so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. Yeah, What's in the soups? Um, like, something like a little meatball. Oh, okay. Meatball. Noodles, some veggies. You can choose, there's chicken ones, there's a uh, beef one. Beef, beef in a pot, if you can get them to open a pot for you. Okay. Oh, I see. So they give you the toppings okay. here, and then they put some uh, beef broth the, over it. The, the, Ooh, that the looks so good. Oh, that's so good. Ooh. Um, that looks like tofu. There's something on it. Chicken. We have like every type of drink here you could ever imagine. You guys. We basically got a little bit of everything at this night market, but this looks so good. So this is chicken, this is a salted egg, and then they give you some rice on top of it. Um, do you know what this is? We both are kind of unsure. Orange what is this? style cordial. It's orange, like orange cola? Like a cordial, like uh, mm, Yeah, it's orange sweet. flavored. It's really sweet, it's orange. This is a soup with really good beef broth that they have here. Um, these are just some chips that they give you, I think with, on the side of, um, the soup. We got some noodles. Those look so good. And then these things, we're not, I don't, do you know what's chicho, inside? Chicho prawn. So the udang, which is prawn. Shrimp. Yeah. 
Okay, there's shrimp in here. They're fried. And then they give you this little bag of sauce. This is rice inside. There's like some maize and banana leaf. Somewhere in here. Uh-uh. Nope. It's not rice. It's beef. Oh! Surprise. <laughs> How is it? Mmm, it tastes good. <laughs> what did you get? Beef rendang. Rice beef vegetables. Rendang. Okay, and then this is a dessert that they have. It's like a pancake and a waffle mixture. What's inside of that? Uh, peanut peanut based oh it's peanut based that's so good this is so good i'm so excited and then i also got some of their like boba tea i think it has some jelly or i don't know it's something like that um but yeah they have so much over here this is such a cool market and this opens back up you said this opens back up at 12 at night yeah for sahil they start eating at 12 till like 3 or 4 in the morning so you get up in the middle of the night you go eat and then throughout the day in the daylight you don't eat it all during ramadan really cool so this is ring ding. I want to try, try this. That. It's amazing. It is. It's slow cook. Mm -hmm. And uh, lots of flavor, some mm -hmm. cinnamon. That's really good. Wow, that is really tender. They must cook that for hours. That is so good. Yeah, my favorite. Probably my favorite thing to eat all time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really delicious. And then I'm going to try these noodles. Have you had their noodles a lot? Mm -hmm. Not so much anymore. I used to eat a lot. Mm. I'm more of a rice man now. <laughs> rice dependent. Those noodles are really good. Okay. They're really good. They have all kinds of flavor in them, you guys. I think they have chicken too. Mm. So good. And this salted egg. They keep the shell on the outside of it, but it's very, very salty when you dig into it. They leave like the chicken and the thigh on here. The leg and the thigh, I should say. This looks so good. If I make KFC, it'll be better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so good, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. And that soup. Try this soup with me. I want to get your, your reaction to must. it. Because you've had it before a lot. Yeah, it's another must try. Mmm. <laughs> that is so good, you guys. The noodles are like really thin little stringy noodles inside of it. Yeah, they've got two types of noodles here as well. Wow. You got the, you got the special one. They put two. Yeah. You got the fat noodles, and then you got the thin ones. These are huge. I'm going to dip this in this broth. I bet this is going to be delicious. They sold them at the same vendor, so I don't Massive. know if you're supposed to do this or not, but... Good. Oh, good. One out of ten. I don't think I've ever tried these. One out of ten. What do you give it? Mm, really awesome. I give them ten. I really like them. They're really good. <laughs> They're like a. It's like a different style popping up. I think they call this carrot pot here. Everything is like crispy. Mm -hmm. but that, it's, it's very good. It's very airy on the inside too. All of this stuff is so good. This is all just so delicious. I'm gonna try that pancake thing with peanuts in it. That looks really good. What is it? They what? had it over there and I wanted to try it. I thought it was rice inside the banana leaf. Right. Nobody is yeah. rice. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. Well, I asked what it was and she couldn't really, <laughs> she couldn't really like describe like what was inside, but I guess it's beef. It's a real, it's this spicy beef. It's really good. That's just plain bright rice, but it's yeah. really good. And this egg is growing on me. It's very, very salty the first time that you take a bite of one of these, but they're kind of good. It's like eating a really salty chip, like a Pringle or something. Mm. What they like to do here is get the salted egg mm -hmm. and then make it into like a powder and coat it in everything. Oh, that would be good. It is. Mm -hmm. They make these chips, it's like these chips with salt and egg flavor on. Mm. It's like, it's amazing. Ooh, that sounds good. You guys, this pancake is so good. It has peanuts in it. it. It tastes like peanut butter. It tastes like chunky peanut butter. And the pancake itself is just really thick and rich and fat and just, ugh. Lots of condensed milk to mm. make it extra mm -hmm. creamy. That's good. This is really good. What's this called again? If you come here, what do you order? I 
basically just make uh, Guam- sweet, sweet, yeah, sweet Malay. Guam like, Malay. Kind of Malayu? Yeah. Guam Malayu. It's really good. Oh, this stuff was really good. This was so much fun. All right. So we're going over this big building over here. This is kind of like a mall or what? what the is mall. This, this is the, the mall. mall. Yeah, the oh, I'm excited. Oh, it actually is called the mall. It just says mall up there. I love it. This is great. You want to just cross? Taxi. Taxi for you. <laughs> Uh, oh, Iran. Yeah, it's Iran. Yeah. No, it's not India. India is orange. Oh, oh, that is orange. Oh, okay. I don't know my country flags. No. Yeah. Really? A delegate or yeah, that's the Indian. Oh, that's cool. This this place actually is called the mall. You guys, how funny is that? The mall. The mall. The mall. <laughs> This is where all the cool kids hang out at night on the weekends. Spend their money all over there. Oh, who needs America when you have a carrier cowboy hats here in Brunei? Put that one on. This one. This one's actually pretty cool. I like this one. Eleven bucks. <laughs> Ooh, really uncomfortable. You need to wear that to your classes. <laughs> they don't fit my, they don't fit my head. They're big head. This one? Ah, they're horrible. <laughs> you know who you look like? You know the little bear Paddington? Oh, do I look like Paddington? <laughs> yeah, you look like Paddington Bear and the red one too. That one's like that's a that's Paddington Bear esque. And, and you have an accent like too. Yes, he does. He has a little rain jacket and a little hat. It's not. It's more of a that kind of hat. Oh, that okay. Wear, isn't it? Well, I don't know, but I, I don't even know what the hat is. It's reminding. It's giving me Paddington vibes. You want to buy some really tacky stiletto shoes? Yeah, they have some shoes here. This is neat. They have. Um, some they have like a whole tacky. little shopping market here. Yeah. I'm gonna go look at their like snack area. I want to see if they have any local for nice snacks. Wow! What? Look at this. Oh, yeah, it's around the time, so this is uh, Raya Campus. Wow. You get a lot. That's really neat. Two stores and stationery. All of their Barbie dolls are like. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, they have furniture back there. This is like an IKEA and a Target and a Walmart. Are all combined together. You have all of it. So fabric softener over there. We have Dove. Dove is everywhere. It's everywhere, all over the world. Ooh, yeah, you got to see this. Oh yes, this is what I was looking for. You got this like biscuits they love, this sweet biscuits. You need Special. to buy some sugar actually. Not yeah. as much. <laughs> so then we have a pretty good selection of fruit based Most of it's coming in from either China or We do not have this. This is a Chinese one. Oh this is Chinese it's cabbage? cabbage? Really? Yeah. And then huh. we have a lot of it will be Australian. So we have oh, Chinese Australian food. Okay. Carrots and Chinese leaves. Oh. It's corn from the local. And it's beans. Uh, cauliflower. So this is local. Local, local. It's pretty coming in Grapes. When we buy grapes, we buy like a big old carton of them. Ah, they're so expensive. They're coming in from Australia. So it's five bucks just for that. Oh, everything from Australia is probably more expensive. Australian. Dragon fruit. Dragon yeah, fruit's probably from local. Indonesian. 
I don't know, it doesn't really give you, but I, I bet it's Indonesia that they get them from. Let me see. Uh, no, it doesn't say. What is that? This is New Year's Eve oranges, I think. Oh, it's oh, a fancy no, orange. Oh, it's a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin? This is it's not a, a baby, pumpkin. It's a baby pumpkin. <gasps> That's so cute. Look, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this little baby pumpkin. It is a pumpkin. It looks like orange. It's got oh, big oranges. Those are so cute. Watermelon. Yeah, everything is really inexpensive. Like, kind of luxury, wet market, fish market. It's all in one area. For the years. Oh. We had on that dessert. But this one's formulated to make coffees and teas. Oh. Nice. This is the milk that they have because they don't really have any cows here. The Malaysia, yes. So they don't have refrigerated milk that you can just buy in the refrigerator? They do, but it's so expensive. You get it from Australia. Really? Yeah, this has all come from... They don't have any cows here that they milk? This is from Germany. This from Germany. This is from Australia. Okay, but I'm... Australia. I'm... Okay, I'm... All can, UHTs. Are okay, but why is this not in the refrigerator? Like, how does this work? It's UHTs. Ultra high treated temperature. Milk really? Foods. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I mean, we have this in the United States, but we don't ever. No, it's not popular. Got cows. Yeah, we. Yeah. Durian white coffee. Look at that. Durian white coffee. Durian flavored white coffee. <laughs> Good sustainable packaging. Polystyrene. Yeah. We're gonna love that. Ah, this is the good stuff. The instant coffee. This isn't good. No, this Maybe is this is just the. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks good. Yeah. Italian inspired. Yeah. Great price though. No. Actually, this is cheap. Vietnam. Vietnam. Oh yeah, that's twenty dollars per per blend. That's very expensive. Yeah, these are expensive, but this is quite good. For half kilo at fifteen bucks is not bad. Because hmm. this is a local-ish coffee. Mm -hmm. local -ish. Why is this? Why is this twenty-two dollars? Is it just good coffee? Or? Well, it's from Tanzania. I mean, well, yeah, okay, but again, it's, it's, uh, oh, okay, that makes sense. And then you might find some cool, funny noodles. Wow, they have a lot of noodles. They love instant noodles. So you just got the obvious things, but then you have these. Are they Lychee. Lychee. Fruit teas. Ones with jelly bits in. Ooh, sour shop. Have you had this? Yeah. That's good. It's okay. Some of them have the bits in. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Hey, what? What's um? Uh, these ones are sweeter than the normal Red Bulls. Yeah, what's this? Yeah, these are like high energy shots. Oh, okay. So that's like a lot of energy. And then these are just the normal ones, I think. Mm, yeah. Oh, sugar free. Less sugar. Mm, Red Bull Plus. Huh. Red Bull's from uh, Thailand originally. Some of this are probably made, made, made in Thailand. So. Yeah, that's the original packaging. We don't do those ones anymore though. We have the blue um, blue containers for them. Oh. That's cool. Marshmallows. I need some sugar. I'm going to make some light cheese. I'm going to get some of these. Mango Explosion. A lot of ramen. Mm. They like instant noodles. You can get like most things. You can get a lot of pastas here. They love the Ooh, pasta. Himalayan black salt. I don't think I've ever had black salt. It's pretty cool. Mm. It's pretty expensive, that. No, no it's only four dollars oh, and eighty cents. Salt's a bit pretty warm in it. But so if they're very well, they're not really close to the Himalayan mountains in India, but they're like closer than we are in the United States. I thought this was cleaner. Like, you know how we, we always put lemons on our, our cleaner, like our... <laughs> yeah, they do make the packaging cleaner look like this. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a very clean, clean look. <laughs> So it's like rose, they love their rose. Rose and they put it with milk, make rose milk. Oh, um, rose milk, huh? Yeah, if you want to try one, you 
Wow, oh, blueberry juice. I don't think we've ever had blueberry. I don't think we. <laughs> oh, it's not. Oh. All rose kinds of stuff. Worth, worth trying. Do you like milk really? drinks? Yeah. Do you like rose flavor stuff? Yeah, I guess so. I'm not used to it. But I'll, I, I'm not used to it either, but I mean, I'll try it. I don't, I don't, I'm open to anything. There's a brand, uh, salt I'm cola, like, yeah. you guys. I wonder if it's salty. <laughs> this is uh, one of them. That's a rose milk drink, but not that brand. No. You can try it. Just try that one. Try the other one. I'm gonna get one of these. Yeah, try that one. The other brand that you give me is like oh. nice and sweet and sweet. Oh. oh. Jamaica cream soda. I don't even think I saw those in Jamaica. What's the past one? Uh, everybody loves Haribo. They have Haribo everywhere. Look at all these, you guys. Durian flavored, vanilla, rose pink, all kinds of artificial flavorings that they put in things. Hmm. Wow, this is cool. They have brown sugar, like a uh, local sugar, it looks like, too. That's really neat. Hmm. Coconut sugar as well, which you probably don't see too much. They're gonna make sugar out of coconut, and they also have. I don't like that stuff. I've had local it. Local palm, palm sugar. Uh huh. And they come like this. Wow. They're actually really, like, they're really good. Yeah. Got five cookies. Ah. Uh. Uh, I'm just using white sugar because I make. Mainly, mainly from Asia. Yeah. It does not smell very nice here, you guys. There's like a fish that's just been sitting out here all day. It's not, it smells really bad. It's, yeah, it's not like the worst. It's not the worst, no. I've smelled worse. We've got ice, we've got ice, and it's this. It's... Ooh, squid. This is the only time I've ever seen squid in a supermarket like that. Look at that. Oh, crabs. crabs. Have you had these crabs before? Yeah. Yeah, wow, these are big. Look at these squid. They're huge. Yeah, they have huge squid. All kinds of stuff. I'm thinking of the Kopi, like the Lukewa coffee. Yeah, so Kopi means. Kopi's coffee. Oh, Kopi's uh, just coffee. I don't know. It's um, Luwak. Luwak's now. Yeah, Luwak. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they have a lot of drinks. Yeah, they love the drinks. And then they love this coffee. Yeah, this, is what they do. this looks fun. Look how colorful this is. Ready to drink coffee. Is, is there something in here or is it just coffee? Probably. Huh. Maybe just iced coffee. That's cute. This is this is the coffee, the local coffees that they have. Mr. Brown. Oh, Mr. Brown. I love Mr. Brown here. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Brown. You love Mr. Brown? It's okay. For an iced coffee, it's not bad. They have Blue Mountain Blend. Is Blue Mountain Blend better? I just drink real coffee if you can. <laughs> There's okay. a lot. There's macadamia nut coffee. Wow, flavor. macadamia nut coffee. That's That would be good. I'm going to get that. I want to try that. Wow, so this is a pretty nice hotel. What hotel is this? What hotel is this? It's called the Brisbane. The Brisbane? Bris Brisbane. Oh, Brisbane. Hmm. This is a very nice hotel. Yeah, it's quite good. And it's attached to the mall. I haven't stayed here, but it, this, there is a few better hotels around. But... It's pretty cool. They have this really nice big chandelier at the very top. It's really pretty. So 
this is the fanciest of the fancy. No, in not really. Brunei? Actually, no? there's a hotel called the Empire, which is what they oh. some people say is seven stars. Oh, it's actually a five star hotel, but they want to the claim Empire. it's a seven star. Uh -huh. yeah. Two fifty a night. Two fifty a night. Yeah. Okay. Huh, that's cool. If I come back here, I'm gonna stay there so I can say that I've been to a seven star oh. hotel mm, for yeah. only two hundred fifty dollars a night. <laughs> <laughs> Seven star, yeah. Technically not a five star hotel, but yeah. <laughs> well, this is really fun. This is oh, a very Japanese, nice small Japanese delicacy as well. Japanese delicacy right behind us. This is where all the cool people hang out, you guys. The yeah. mall. <laughs> but yeah, there's so much food and stuff to do around here. This is great. Wow, they even That's have a Skechers. Is. This is great. Is. They have something called the cheese box. Look how cool that looks. Is it pizza? I think it's pizza. Yeah, it's pizza. They have all kinds of stuff. Fancy. This is very cool. And they're McDonald's. So they have special menu items at their McDonald's. You said the fried chicken is special. And then do they have anything else? I don't know. I don't actually know. I'm, I'm going to go much. tomorrow. You I want to try it. it yes, I will. Jolly Bee is huge. They have all kinds of Jolly Bees everywhere. I love Jolly Bee. I just love Filipino food in general. Yeah, this is such a cool, this is such a cool place. Alright guys, so this is my second day in Bandar Siri Begawan Brunei. Um, I wanted to give you a tour of my friend's home, uh, just in case you guys might be coming here as tourists, you might not be able to see the inside of what a home looks like here in uh, Brunei, so I thought this would be a kind of a cool thing to show you guys. Um, they're a little bit different than our homes for obvious reasons. Um, sorry for the shaking. Um, for obvious reasons, the bathrooms are a lot different. They have something called a wet room when you go into the bathroom, which I'll show you guys. Um, but yeah, his, his home is really, really nice traditional furniture. They do leave these plastic covers on their furniture a lot of the times. So you might see this if you get invited into a, um, a home in Brunei. Um, but this is kind of the living area or the, the living room. Um, this is what this looks like. I'll turn you guys around so that you can get a better, uh, better view. All right, guys. So this is kind of the living area inside. That's the front door. And then let me show you what a wet room looks like. So wet room literally, quite quite literally, I should say, means uh, that the entire room gets wet. So when you walk inside, there's a little sink, um, toilet. They always use water, so you'll always see a sprayer in all of the, uh, the bathrooms. But um, as you turn, you're going to see this little faucet. Now, I was under the impression that this was for washing your feet. Um, but you can turn this on. I'm not going to do it right now, but the, there's that drain right there and the entire room gets wet. So you can, you can use the sprayer, get it all over the floor and it's just going to drain right into the, the bottom of the floor. Um, so that's kind of what the wet room looks like here. Um, when we come over here, this is a dining room. It's not really set up yet, but, um, this is what the dining room would look like. I'll show you the upstairs in a minute too. Uh, this is the kitchen. I thought these were kind of cool looking. We have these in the States obviously too, but um, just kind of cool that they have these like different colors of cabinets here. Let me show you that goes to the outdoor um, or the backyard. Uh, I can't remember what's in here. I think this is just a, like a storage room. Yeah. Just a storage room here. And then, let's see if we go upstairs. This house is about 10 years old um, as well. So, this is what a 10 year old home would look like if you came to Brunei and maybe wanted to move here, buy a house here, who knows. Um, if we go up, 
This is like an office area. And I'll show you what next door. Oh, wait, that's not the worst one next door. I'll show you the worst one. Um, <laughs> just so you guys can get an idea um, of what it looks like. This is another wet room. So you'll see how the shower is, it just, when you turn the shower on, it quite literally just drains into the floor. Um, and there's no separation between the toilet and the shower. So um, basically another wet room in here. When you take a shower, the whole thing just gets, every, everything gets wet. So um, yeah, kind of different than, than you know what we would have in our homes. Um, and then I also wanted to show you guys what next door looks like. So like I said, they don't have any planning and zoning. <laughs> So sometimes you're in a pretty, you know, pretty nice home and then next door um, you'll have like some shack housing, you know, um, you'll have the clothing on the, the clotheslines. Um, you just never kind of know what you're, what to expect here. They, they don't have planning and zoning and they also don't have an income tax here. So um, in those ways, it's kind of a free for all, right? Because in the United States, you would never be allowed to, um, you know, if, you, if your neighbor's house looked like this, you'd call planning and zoning or um, you call the city or you do something about it, right? You wouldn't be allowed to do that. Um, they're not allowed to do social things, but their, their economic powers of not having taxes and being able to, to do this, um, they have a lot more freedom in this way. So yeah, kind of, um, kind of a flip-flop on Western society. Also, you guys, before I came to Brunei, I was expecting this very strict dictatorship with a sultan who kind of rules over everybody and has all these crazy laws. Um, just to give you an idea of some of the laws that um, that are enforced here for, for Muslims, um, not really for non-Muslims. They're kind of lenient when it comes to non-Muslims, um, which is, we'll kind of get into that. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about that. Um, but some of the laws, for example, you can't drink, um, you can't smoke here, you can't eat out in public during the daytime, um, during Ramadan, you can get arrested for that. Um, you can't share a hotel room with somebody of the opposite gender if you're not married to them. Um, you can't celebrate Christmas. They do, don't want anything with Jesus. No Christmas here. Um, let me think. You can't say anything insulting. You cannot say anything negative about the Sultan, uh, the ruling family here in this country. Um, kind of leads with an iron fist. And if you do anything to insult the Sultan, um, you can be banned from the country, you can be stoned to death. There's all kinds of punishments. Um, drugs, of course, for obvious reasons are illegal. Um, there's all kinds of really strict laws here in Brunei. But for example, right now it's Ramadan. Yesterday I went to go explore the, the city and there was a coffee bean open. It's open in, in daylight, right? Even though you're not supposed to eat um, food, coffee bean is open so I go into the coffee bean I order some coffee and some food and I was planning to just take it to go so that nobody was seeing me eat um, it's rude it's considered rude to eat in front of a, a Muslim during daylight hours during Ramadan um, they do eat every day but after 6 30 or after sunset so if you're eating in the daytime in front of them they consider it insulting or or rude um, but when I went to the coffee bean um, I got my stuff and the guy just points over to a seat and he goes you can go sit over there <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Um, my friend has lived here for two years and they're not really, they don't really enforce the laws for non-Muslims. So obviously if they look at you and you're white, you're a tourist, um, or they know that you're not a Muslim, um, they, they don't really enforce the strict Sharia laws. Um, they are governed by Sharia law, uh, but this country is a very lenient country and they're pretty welcoming to tourists here. Um, like I said, they don't really, I think they would be, more strict about the laws if um, if you were a, a Muslim here, probably living here, but if you're a tourist and they know that you're not a Muslim, um, they're not very strict with the, the laws enforcing all of the the uh, kind of micro social laws that they have here. Um, the scary part is, is that they could. Um, so when you come to this country, you have to proceed with caution because if you rub somebody the wrong way, they could always report you. Um, you could technically get arrested for, for anything here. Um, so uh, that, that's, you know, kind of the scary part or the downside. Um, some, um, homosexuality is, uh, is a crime here. It's against the law uh, to be gay. Um, CNN wrote a really um, kind of negative uh, report of Brunei a while ago. And the Sultan said that they, the, the Sultan actually came out and they said that they weren't going to prosecute people or they weren't, weren't going to go after people for being homosexuals in the country. Um, I don't really know how true that is. I don't know, you know, you really don't know because they could just do away with you and you'd never hear anything from from your family member or your friend again. Um, but 
that's what they said. I assume that they probably just don't want any negative press, um, especially when you're getting you know negative feedback from a, some something like CNN or um, another news outlet. Um, you know they 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 don't want Brunei to have a, a negative reputation right in uh, in the world. Yeah, before you come here, you might want to do a little bit of research um, just to brush up on the laws because, I mean, if you were a tourist and you didn't know that it was Ramadan and you went out to eat in public, technically you could get arrested for that and be thrown in prison. Um, but like I said, they don't really enforce the laws like you would think they would. So it, they do, but they don't. Um, today I am going over to a regalia museum. I'm so excited for this to go see all of the royal regalia. Um, they do have the largest palace in the entire world here in Brunei and I'm not going to be here when it's open you guys. It's open on a Saturday so if you come here make sure to come here on the weekend. Um, they're having tours of it. It's huge. It's the biggest palace in the entire world. It has like 500 bedrooms. It's huge. It's just a massive, massive, massive palace um, but I'm not going to be here to see it so I'm really bummed out about that but I could always come back to see it later. Um, <laughs> but otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy the, the rest of um, the, the day with me. So what do you think of Brunei? You know, I thought it was going to be kind of scary because of all the laws, but it's not. <laughs> it's not at all. Yeah. yeah. My friend told me, he's like, no, it's not really like that. He's lived here for two years and he's like, no, it's, you know, it's such a nice place. And I was like, oh, but they have this law and this law. And what if, yeah, you know, yeah, what yeah. if I accidentally eat something in public or what, you know, what, <laughs> what, what happens? And um, yeah, it's not like that at all. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, I was. I, it's really nice. Is not really accurate. Do you think mm -hmm. so? Sorry, what? Sometimes the media. Oh, I know. The media uh, just makes a. They make um, just an agenda, you know. So yeah, you never know what to expect. But um, <laughs> but no, I really like it. It's it's fantastic. So what yeah. do you think of the people of the Brunei? They're so nice. <laughs> no, they're so nice. They're really. They're yeah. Everyone is just so nice and um, and happy. Yeah, good to know. <laughs> yeah. Do you get a lot of tourists? Yeah. Oh, I good. <laughs> Is that good or bad? Do you guys want tourists or, or not really? Sorry? <laughs> Do you want tourists to come see Brunei or not yeah, really? Sure. Actually, <laughs> yeah. um, we are welcoming the tourists to, to go here, like to, oh, yeah. to find out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like better for them to know where is the Brunei. Because um, Brunei is a, it's like a small, small country, right? Yeah. I think the. It's basically the same too, Singapore and Brunei, yeah. you know, so yeah, it's, it's very similar. You also use the uh, you use the what? Singapore, the Singapore oh yeah. Dollar. Yeah, I know. I um I was just in Singapore and I that's what my friend was telling me. He's like, just bring over the Singapore dollars because it's the same thing. And I was like, oh great. So yeah, that was that's fantastic too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've been here for how long already? Oh, just a couple days. Oh. Yeah. So you're new here. Yeah, yeah, just a couple days. <laughs> yeah, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> One more thing, I think, uh, if you're in public, mm -hmm. I will suggest you not to drink or eat. Oh, oh, okay. Just but, but now it's public. okay. Oh, okay. But now it's oh, okay. okay. Because I know for the non-Muslim would be thirsty uh, or hungry maybe, yeah? I, because I think for I, the last... I thought it was with food. I didn't know it was drink too. <laughs> it's both. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, but, I didn't know. But it's okay. Yeah. Because um, the last time uh, I got a tourist also from, I think from the UK, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, they didn't have a preparation. Mm -hmm. And then they looked really exhausted. And then I offered them to drink or eat inside the car. So it's like lucky for them yeah. because they didn't have a preparation. Yeah, yeah. But it's okay. Oh, you can okay. finish your drink later. Oh, okay. Just to let you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because uh, because um, for us, uh, the Muslim, it's kind of like disrespectful. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know. Like you're teasing their temptation. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> oh. I, I thought that was with food. I didn't know it was with drink too. That's yeah. why I yeah, yeah sorry, I, did, I didn't know because it was with everything. During fasting, even yeah. Oh. I think we might have ran over something. Yeah. Yeah. 
um, because during fasting, even though the tap water looks mm -hmm. yummy for us. <laughs> oh, you can't do water either? Sorry? You can't drink water either? No. Oh, oh, oh. During fasting. Oh, Dry fasting. Okay. From the um, five until the sunset. Until 6.30? Yeah. All right, you guys. I'm here at the Royal Regalia Museum, and I'm trying to figure out how to get inside. Might be... Ah, okay, they want you to take your shoes off to come inside, it looks like. Uh, I think this is the entrance. I was going towards the wrong direction. Uh, let me see. Non resident, it's going to be $5. Okay. Oh, they're closed, you guys. It says on their website that they close at 5 p.m. and I got here at 2.30 and uh, they said that they're closed. So, can't go inside the museum. Now I have to go find something else to do. Um, I'm gonna go try to go see the mosque, I guess. All right guys, I will not be going into this mosque because you can't go inside if you're a non-Muslim. Um, I gotta go find something else to do. Hmm. It's so funny to see a street sign that says non-Muslims banned. I mean, could you even imagine if, I don't know, in the United States you saw a sign that said, you know, Jews banned from this uh, church or this cathedral <laughs> during Easter time. You know, it's uh, it's just so funny to see these things here. Um, it's so unusual because you'd never see this anywhere else, really. Um, really, Muslim countries are the only, well, some of the only countries in the world where um, they won't let non-believers, you know, near their buildings or um, included in some of their, their communities. So, yeah, it's just a really funny thing to see. Um, they certainly would not be taking any Christian refugees here. Uh, Christian refugees, you're gonna die because <laughs> you're not coming here. <laughs> you know, this is such a wealthy country. I think we should spread the wealth around. Some of the Ukrainian refugees can come live over here and they can build their churches and um, the government can give them subsidies, welfare. They can just take care of them. I don't see why not. They have plenty of money over here. We can be inclusive. I think this country needs a little bit more diversity. Um, there's like a little island that you can go to. It has a bunch of villages on it. So I think I'm gonna head over there and go try to see that. You can take a local boat ride for about a dollar to get over to the island. it says. You guys, I'm going to butcher the name, but I think it's Kampong Airy? 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 Air? I don't know. Um, I'm sure I'm sure my friend's going to tear me up for mispronouncing that, but um, yeah, I'm really excited. This looks like such a cool place. Um, my, my friends did say that in certain parts there's planks instead of this tile. So you have to be kind of careful because the island is a little bit wobbly and your foot can go through some of those planks. Um, you can see them up here actually. It's these planks, they have some holes inside of them so you just have to be careful and watch your step. Yeah, and it even has a little sign that says watch your step right here, so. <laughs> okay, and the cultural center is also closed. Should be open today, but it's not. And I think it's due to Ramadan, so. We won't be going in there. I think I'm just gonna look around um, the island and just kind of go exploring. They have their own little villages. Each island has their own little village, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this should be really fun. I'm excited to go see all of this. They also have some restaurants here as well. Um, you'll see that they have a pottery house, wooden craft. And they'll give you the the uh, lock pond crackers maker. That seems really cool. Um, Looks like they have a gallery over here. Maybe I'll try to go left first and then I'll come back to all of these other ones. I definitely have lots of time before my friend comes to pick me up later today. So I guess we'll start at the gallery and work our way down. I know 
they have a lot of um, floating markets around Asia, but I think this is one of the only times I've seen a floating village um, with homes that you can go to. Or I know they have them in Africa too. There's certain parts of Africa uh, where people quite literally just live on a little island. Um, they almost live on a boat, really. Um, but yeah, this is always it's always interesting to come see um, housing developments on a, an island. Um, really cool to come see this. Really unique. Some of the island definitely has some rough spots. Um, could use a little trash pickup, it looks like. It's so funny because right across the way you'll see this giant, I think this is a house over here. Huge house. But there's also some, some areas for the less fortunate here. Um, this is kind of where they live. You guys, the walkway is definitely really wobbly. Oh, I just scared this little cat. Some of the cats around here, they are, I think they're called knotted tail cats, but they have little knots in their tails. Kind of looks like their tails are bent up, but they're not. Um, but yeah, you definitely do feel wobbly. I'm trying to stay on this little beam right in the middle, but yeah, the, the pathway definitely um, feels a little wobbly when you're walking around here. There's a whole bunch of cats. They have these like knots in their tails. It looks like their tails have been crunched up, but it's just the type of cat. Man, you take one wrong step on these planks and <laughs> your foot's gonna fall through. Some of the planks are not nailed in, so you just feel really unsteady when you're walking. So funny to see little street street signs. It's it's almost like you're walking just in a normal neighborhood, but of course you're on a little island. Let's go over and try to see this pottery house. I want to see that. This is normally an ice cream shop, but of course it's closed right now because of Ramadan. Um, I think if I were to come back here, I I wouldn't come during Ramadan. I would really do some research beforehand. Um, right now it's around April, but I know Ramadan. I think it's I think it's for an entire month, um, around March to April. So. Yeah, if I were to come back here, I probably wouldn't come around Ramadan because it's just really restrictive and all the tourist sites aren't going to have everything that they normally do. Basically, everybody who lives on this island, um, they all have their own little boat. You'll see their boat stocked below their homes here. So. See that? Yeah, this is a really cool experience. Um, this is my first time being on a floating island <laughs> like this. <laughs> you guys, this is the this is the best sign I've seen all day. Inclusive to all, really, really, is it inclusive to all? Uh, there's this big frame. I guess you take a picture with. It's right across from this mosque over here. Let me show you the view when you get right in front of it. This is kind of a cute idea. Have a frame here. This is the London Cafe over in Brunei. I got some mac and cheese for takeaway. Alright guys, it is officially 5.30 and Food Street has finally opened up. They have all different types of options here. Lots of chicken, barbecue. They have all kinds of drinks. And it's right across from the main mosque, which is pretty cool.
Thank you. Alright guys, so it is the very end of the day. We can finally eat. After 6.30, you're allowed to eat during the Ramadan period. Um, Matt was kind enough to cook. This is some chicken. It's super spicy. And then this is some zucchini spaghetti or some, I guess, uh, spaghetti squash. And then this mac and cheese is from the London, I think it's the London Cafe or the London Restaurant um, here in Brunei. And it was super, super, um, super delicious. That that place is great. Um, and then we also, I found these limited edition black truffle Pringles. These are actually from the Philippines. But look at these, you guys, black truffle. These are pretty good. Um, I would do those again. I got one of these fancy drinks that they had over on Food Street. I have no idea the name of this, but it has everything. It has street corn. Uh, this is some, some rose milk. Um, it has some jelly in there. It has just a little bit of, of everything that they had in the store. Okay, Matt. So you were telling me some good no, advice. No, no, no. You were telling me some good advice <laughs> on what to say if I need to eat during Ramadan. What do what do I tell people? No, I'm not saying that. What do I tell people? No, sorry. If you're sick, cut, cut, cut. you're yeah, able yeah, yeah. you're mm. able to eat. And if you're a woman, and it's that time of the month, you can just tell people. You can just tell everybody, and then they'll let you eat. Who knew? Who would have known that?